glass coffin. Austin's only vampire part. You're looking for vampire, you're looking for spooky, you're looking for cool. This is the spot. Dracula, Los Ferratu, Lost Boys. All the classic kind of vampire stuff, paraphernalia, coffee, pins, t-shirts, bags. A lot of stuff I won't even tell you about. It's so cool you discover yourself. So, since we're in a vampire parlor, this is going to be our vampire segment. We each chose who we want to tell you about. The one I chose is Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Shaw Brothers, Hammer Films, Team Up. The only one. So what's awesome about this, it's a Screen Factory slash Shot Factory release. As you see, the Legend of Seven Golden Vampires. Oh, inside, it also has Seven Brothers Meet Dracula, which is how it was released in the U.S. So it's got whichever one you prefer to display. Got the movie, wonderful transfer, new 2K transfer. Um, the extra is a great commentary from Bruce Hollenbach. But what I like on this one, it's got an awesome interview with Hong Kong expert Ricky Baker. Anytime you hear about Ricky Baker, the guy who puts out Eastern Heroes magazine, you see he's got any kind of interview, always worth the purchase. The man's informative and awesome. So this movie stars David Chang, and if you know Star Brothers, you know my man David Chang. Peter Cushion, the legend, Star Wars fans, that was the Grand Moff talking for the first movie. So it's a team up of Kung Fu and old school vampire hunters having to stop vampires who come to China and trying to vampire everybody. Can't happen. Really, really, in, in a, a really way to introduce yourself to the vampire lore that's not traditional, that you've seen a million times. You take on a story, really entertaining. I give this two thumbs up all day long. Thanks a lot. I love films. Out. <laughs> I knew I was waiting for a reason. What's up, YouTube? Justin Mithai Crawler here, and my topic for today is uh, vampire films. I got a good one, guys. I got Vampire Girl vs. Frankenstein Girl, a Jay Splatter film that's co directed by Nayuki Tomamatsu and special effects maestro Yoshihiro Nishimura. Gonna get a lot of Jay Splatter, gallons of blood, buckets of blood, Olympic sized pool quantities of blood. But regardless, Vampire Girl is a high school student in love with a male who is conflicted between Frankenstein girl and vampire girl. Who's gonna get the guy? You can find out in this movie. Along the way you get a lot of high school shenanigans, a lot of like social commentary, and uh, you know, a little tongue-in-cheek humor. But that's not what this is really about. This is about vampire girl biting people on the neck, seeing geysers of blood shoot out, her dancing in the blood with her mouth open, rejoicing as the blood drips into her mouth and she, as she consumes it. It's crazy. It's Yoshihiro Nishimura Sushi Typhoon kind of film that you'd expect. Guys, check this one out. It's not your typical vampire film, just like the homeboy man he did earlier. Bam! Check it out. All right, game down film here, guys. My vampire pick is the Korean film Thirst. You've got Park Chan-wook. We all know him. Director of Old Boy. Uh, Song Kong-ho. You know him from Parasite. Long time Korean actor there. Kim Ok Bin, uh, you might remember her from The Villainess. Um, you got romance, you got violence, you got blood. Um, just reading the rated R here. Graphic bloody, bloody violence, disturbing images, strong sexual content, nudity, and foul language. But uh, yeah, man, there's a. Uh, I just really like the, the romance between them two, but um, really scary in some parts, and um, just a great story, dude. Love this movie so much, but uh, check out Thirst, y'all. Thanks.